Good evening. Welcome, honored guests, family, and friends of the graduating class of 2017. It is a great honor to stand before you as student council president. I would first like to thank Superintendent Dr. Reynolds for everything he does for our school district. I would also like to thank the members of the Board of Education, our principal, Mrs. Miranda, and our administrators, Mr. Kutro and Mr. Regan. Additionally, I would like to recognize all of the teachers and staff members who have guided us through our three years at Mount Olive Middle School. I would also like to recognize the families of each and every graduate because you have truly shaped us to become the mature, knowledge-seeking young men and women who stand before you today. Congratulations, Mount Olive Middle School Class of 2017. We made it. And somehow, all the faculty members did too, despite the endless dabbing, water bottle flipping, and fidget spinners. We stand here today as a unit, although is it our individualities and unique talents that make us a successful whole. Classmates, throughout our three years at Mount Olive Middle School, we have experienced countless events together, and we have had endless amounts of fun. We entered sixth grade as apprehensive children, not knowing what to expect. We now graduate as mature young adults eager to share our talents with the world. As we graduate middle school and enter high school, we are beginning a new chapter in our lives. A chapter filled with new characters, a newfound sense of hope, and opportunity. However, it will also be a chapter of overwhelming change, anticipation, and countless new challenges. I would like to illustrate two ideas. Although conceptually simple, these two, notions, these two notions can greatly alter the course of your life, depending on your interpretation of them and how you apply them in your life. Graduates, I encourage you to listen, for these are concepts all successful people have mastered. First, we must all learn to fail or fail to learn. You may either fail, learn from it, and grow stronger, or you may let your failures define you. Society is filled with demands. We are constantly being held to high expectations, pressured to succeed with limited time and resources. At one point or another, we have all asked ourselves this one basic question, can I do it? When the process of self-doubt begins, we deviate further and further from success. You must always believe in yourself. Henry Ford once said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. The human mind is extremely powerful, and so we must use it with intent, desire, and confidence. When he first started out, Walt Disney was fired by a newspaper editor because he lacked imagination and had no good ideas. However, he did not let this define him. Walt Disney did, definitely did not lack imagination, and he certainly never gave up. Disney's incredible story reveals how far determination and perseverance can truly take us in life. Graduates, do not let your failures define you. Learn from your mistakes and develop, and eventually you will be able to look back on your life without regret. By allowing yourself to fail, you are enabling yourself to succeed. Classmates, I encourage you to find what you're truly passionate about. Once you find your passion, pursue it at all costs, for that is where you will find true happiness in life. While pursuing your passion and chasing your dreams, you must have self-belief. This leads to my second key concept, which is believing in yourself. I urge you to believe in yourself because quite frankly, if you don't, no one else will. The biggest difference I've noticed between successful and unsuccessful people isn't money, intelligence, or even opportunities. It's a belief that they can achieve their goals. Everyone deals with obstacles, uncertainty, doubt, and failure. The main difference is that the successful people trust that while they don't see it now, the dots will align when they look back. Some things in life you can't learn from a textbook. You have to live through it, experience it. Graduates, as your life progresses, you will begin to realize that nothing is given to you. You must earn everything. You must believe in yourself in order to be successful. You must see a finish line before it exists. In some aspects, success is simple. You either accomplished your goal or you didn't. There is no in-between. The world judges you purely on the result of your actions. No one sees the effort or work it took you to get to the top. They only see the end result. That's the hard part. The early mornings, the late nights, the blood, sweat, and tears. You have to be able to wake up every single day fully confident that you're part of something greater than yourself. You have to fully believe that you're building a legacy from the ground up. When you feel that compelling urge to give up, you must look in the mirror and remind yourself that you are part of something amazing. You need to be able to look at your reflection and believe in what's staring back at you. By believing in yourself, I guarantee you that you will be able to accomplish great things. J.K. Rowling had just gotten a divorce, was surviving off government aid, and could barely afford to feed her baby and herself in 1994. This was only three years before the first Harry Potter book was published. She was so poor, she had to manually type out each book to send to publishers. Publishers rejected her dozens of times before one gave her a second chance out of pure pity. For many, Rowling seemed to be a lost cause. She seemed to be one of the least likely people to succeed. However, Rowling's, 
believed in herself when no one else did, and she is now one of the most successful authors of all time. Classmates, believe in yourself, and when you are successful, you'll be sure that self-belief has made all the difference. Class of 2017, we have had some great memories and many more are still to come. As you continue your education these next four years, do not just learn from books or handouts. Learn from life. Learn from your mistakes and learn from failure. Find your passions and work hard developing them. Believe in yourself and never give up. Never settle for mediocrity. Each and every one of you is capable of great things. Wilma Rudolph once said, never underestimate the power of dreams and the influence of the human spirit. We are all the same in this notion. The potential for greatness lives within each of us. Graduates, strive for greatness. Think big, dream bigger. Congra congratulations to the Mount Allen Middle School class of 2017. Thank you. Good evening. Parents, grandparents, Dr. Reynolds, Board of Education members, honored guests, family and friends of the graduating class of 2017. I'm Susan Miranda, I'm the building principal of Mount Olive Middle School, and I'd like to welcome you to our graduating ceremonies. I'm extremely proud to be here this evening as we celebrate your children and their accomplishments. I'm truly honored to work with the families of this community who are so gracious and willing to support our school. Before we begin, I'd like to acknowledge a few people. First, I'd like to thank our teachers and staff who are with our children every day. Without the love and support of these staff members, learning would not be possible. Additionally, I'd like to thank Dr. Reynolds and the Board of Education for their support. I feel honored to work in a district that is not only progressive, but has the support of our community and our children first. I'd like to mention that I have a number of teachers and employees retiring this year, and I'd like to acknowledge them. Mrs. Elaine Giasanti, our seventh grade science teacher, will be retiring with 21 years of service this year. Mrs. Susan Jones, our sixth, seventh, and eighth grade math teacher, will be retiring also with 21 years of service. Mrs. Marie Salvaggio, many of you may know, our main office secretary, will be retiring with 25 years of service. Mrs. Sherry McBride, who is here this evening, will be retiring with 26 years of service. And Mrs. Shirley Chamberlain also is here tonight. Our special education teacher will be retiring with 28 years of service. If you could give them a round of applause. I'd also like to take a moment to say special thanks to our secretaries, Mrs. Nutillo and also Mrs. Macho, who are huge parts, Mrs. Sylvester, huge parts of organizing this effort tonight. Our audiovisual people in the back, our IT staff, custodians, all who have uh, ensured that the logistics of this graduation um, have been handled. I feel grateful that so many people contribute their talents to the special event in order to celebrate your students' achievements. Finally, a very special thank you to Mr. Diabolus, who is in the back, or Masters of Ceremony, that many of you know. If we could give Mr. Diabolus a round of applause. <laughs> Mr. D has been here. Probably some of you actually had Mr. D as a teacher. And uh, he's our beloved music teacher, and it would not be the same without him. Also, Mr. Regan and Mr. Kutro are vice principals this evening. Mr. Regan is here. Mr. Kutro is managing our facilities. Um, again, to work with such a supportive administration is really wonderful, so thank you to them. At this time, I would like to recognize our honor students from this year, from our graduating class. I would ask that all students who were chosen for the North Jersey Area Band, Chorus, and Orchestra, North Jersey Band and Choir, North Jersey Regional Jazz Band, and the North Jersey, New Jersey All-State Choir to please stand. <laughs> Matt All of Middle School Honor students who excel in the area of academics, leadership, and service. I would ask at this time for the National Junior Honor Society members to please stand.
Finally, this year, Mrs. Kelly Gordon, our reading specialist at Mount Olive Middle School, was named Mount Olive Middle School Teacher of the Year. Mrs. J uh, Gordon is here tonight joining us in order to present diplomas. Mrs. Gordon, if you could stand to be recognized. I asked our first honored guest to address the community today because I think very highly of him. It is my honor to introduce Corporal Michael Russell as our first speaker this evening. I wasn't that nervous until Mike crushed his speech. Now it's like I'm in trouble. But thank you, Principal Miranda, and congratulations to the class of 2017. When Principal Miranda first asked me to, to speak tonight, my initial thought was really, why me? I, I'm, I'm a corporal at the Mount Olive Township Police Department. Why not the chief or the captain or somebody of rank or somebody who's a better public speaker than I am? But, you know, I started thinking about it, I accepted the offer to come speak because it's an honor to speak in front of these kids. Um, and I thought of two reasons really why I'm, I'm up here today. Uh, the one has nothing to do with these great kids. The, the first thing has everything to do with you guys. Um, I'm going to ask for a little participation to raise your hands. Um, I'm not going to choose anybody. I'm not going to have you come up here and finish my speech or anything like that. But how many of you guys in here went to Mount Olive High School? All right, so this is very exciting for you guys. I was Mr. Mount Olive 1999. <laughs> uh. wow. wow. I guess Principal Miranda wanted that celebrity factor to keep you guys interested. So I'm here today. Um, I actually even wrote in my speech, um, pause and wait for people to stop applauding <laughs> after mentioning I was Mr. Mount Olive, 1999. So, and I'm sure the auditorium right now is going nuts. Like they're probably like, sit down, sit down. He's, he's still got more, all right? The second thing I thought of, and really the perfect reason why I'm here tonight, uh, speaking to the class of 2017, is many years ago that was me sitting in their seats. I started off at Tins Road School, went on to the middle school, and then finally graduated Mount Olive High School. I've been in their shoes. I know the ups and downs when it comes to being a teenager in Mount Olive Township. It's not always easy, sometimes it can be hard. And I know I'm losing some of you, like try raising a teenager in Mount Olive, right? With well, you guys as parents. But this speech isn't about you guys, so relax. Um, but I just know it could be plain hard for them, and everyone seated here today should be proud of their accomplishments. I was always the kind of guy who was extremely proud to be from Mount Olive. I would never shy away from letting others know that I was born and raised in Mount Olive Township. I am proud to be from this town, and it's not because of the parks or the roadways or the stores. I like Valentino's, it's fantastic. But the reason is it's the people that make up Mount Olive Township is the reason why I'm proud to be from Mount Olive. I'm lucky enough to have spent all 35 years of my life living and working in this town. And my job allows me to interact with a lot of people and work hand in hand with community members and educators that I respect and that I am proud of. Many of my friends grew up to be successful, whether it was being involved in business, sports, medicine, the military, or academics. All of these people that I am proud of began their stories here in Mount Olive Township. Look around at all these people seated here today in the audience who came to support you, who are proud of you. Every student sitting here today through hard work and determination graduated the middle school. Do not allow yourselves to get complacent. Work hard, succeed, and reach your potential. Because all of you, when you become successful, whether I am speaking to future doctors or lawyers or police officers, firefighters, teachers, athletes, you will all have one thing in common. And that is your stories of success began here in Mount Olive Township. Be proud of this town because you're proud of yourselves and what you have accomplished. 
When I go into the elementary schools to teach LEAD, and for those of you who don't know what LEAD is, it's the new DARE, uh, it's Law Enforcement Against Drugs. I get to go to, to four elementary schools and talk to those kids, and I talk to a lot of them about making good decisions. I urge all of you to make the decisions that keep making your parents, guardians, and educators proud. So when others outside looking in see you and the people that you have become, you continue to give Mount Olive a good name. This town will only ever be as good as the residents who make it what it is. Today on your graduation, you have all shown that the residents are smart, hardworking people, and you should all be proud of that. Congratulations to all of you on your graduation, and I wish you the best of luck in your futures. Thank you. <clears throat> I'd now like to introduce Mr. Anthony Strelacci, our Board of Education member of the Mount Olive School District. Mr. Strelacci has been on the Board of Education for over 25 years. He has previously served as a Mount Olive Recreation Basketball Coach, St. Elizabeth CYO Coach for the First Girls Basketball Team, volunteered as a band parent, and a member of the Band Booster and Drama Clubs. Mr. Strelacci has been a longtime member of the Mount Olive community. He has been married to his wife, Jean Ann, for over 50 years this year. And they have raised two daughters, one of whom is working at Mount Olive High School, Mrs. Bosch, and also Mr. Bosch spend time here with our drama club. And they were both graduates of the Mount Olive school system. It's an honor tonight to introduce Mr. Anthony Strelacci. I didn't know there was going to be a biography tonight. <laughs> Good evening. Thank you all for coming here this evening to help celebrate this educational milestone for all these terrific students. And also, thank you to everybody watching this on closed circuit in the auditorium. We haven't forgotten you. You know, as I look around this room this evening, I see a lot of proud parents. And only because I have been in your position a couple times, I believe I have an idea of what you might be thinking. You have to be saying to yourself, how can this be happening? <laughs> it seems like they just started kindergarten and now they're graduating eighth grade. Can't believe it. Where has the time gone? Parents, can you imagine, just for a second, that we had the opportunity to graduate eighth grade again? And we knew then what we know now? I bet we'd all make a few changes, wouldn't we? Well, if that's the case, don't you just want to grab these students by the shoulders and give them a good shake and say, listen to me, listen to me. I've been where you are. I know what's coming. I know what you'll need to do. Your next four years are critical. They will form your foundation and set the framework that will help determine where and how well you will eventually live your lives. Your next four years will help determine your further education. Your next four years will help determine your future income earning capacity. And your next four years will help determine what of life's finer amenities you will be able to experience and enjoy. Your next four years, your high school years. Now your high school years are comprised of two categories, the social and the academic. On the social side, you will observe many, many happenings and you will be involved in several events that you will never, ever forget. You will solidify friendships 
And you will forge bonds that will endure a lifetime. You should play sports, act on a stage, sing in a choir, march in a band, be a cheerleader. You should join some of the many social clubs that are offered. Don't idle away your time. Be active, participate. You will mature and begin to set your beliefs of life. You will grow physically, mentally, emotionally. Heck, you may even begin to believe your parents are getting smarter. <laughs> it's a phenomenon, isn't it? As our children get older, we get smarter. We must be taking some courses we don't even know about. In any event, your next four years are a wondrous time. Enjoy every day of every month of every year because your high school years come only one time. They can never be repeated. On the academic side, no one has to tell you how tough it is out there, how stiff the competition will be. You need to focus and apply yourself and absorb all the knowledge you possibly can. Also, join some academic clubs and broaden your horizons by taking some electives such as robotics, sound recording, TV production, to name a few. You may even wish to experience or explore some career paths. But hear this because it's paramount. You need to take advantage of this precious time and learn every day of every month of every year. Because your high school year comes only one time, they can never be repeated. Parents, aren't these some of the things you want to tell them? Oh, maybe one more thing. Please, please, don't let me worry about you. Well, class, I'm not worried about you, and I'll tell you why. You are much wiser than we were at this stage. You've been more places, you've done more, you've seen more. You will have the benefit of a cutting edge curriculum with up-to-date excellent instruction, new and current uh, courses. You will have the state-of-the-art facilities and you will have greater resources. You live on the information highway. You have all the research and analysis at your fingertips. And because you have been exposed to global access, you are much more aware and better prepared to navigate this ever-changing world we live in. And you have one more thing that makes me very happy. You possess the intelligence and the courage to say no to those things that can only do you harm. No, my friends, I'm not going to worry about you because I know you're going to do just fine. Mount Olive Middle School, class of 2017, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making all of us so very proud of you. I congratulate you on your promotion. I wish you every success. And may your God bless you and keep you safe. Thank you. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce a select group of eighth grade singers who will be performing One Voice under the direction of Mrs. Joanna Scarlangelo. They will be singing tonight, The One Voice by Wailing Jennies.
That's a very talented group of young ladies, isn't it? Okay. Now we're going to present our 2017 graduation awards. Our teachers and student counselors, school counselors have picked the recipients of these awards. Our Mount Olive PTA and other community supporters graciously supplied the funds to support these. When your name is called, Please come down to receive your award with Dr. Reynolds. The Carol Esposito Award is presented to the eighth grade students exemplify, exemplifying enthusiasm, compare, compa caring, compassion, and a positive outlook. Isabella Kane. Anthony Rocco. And Maureen Mikasa. The Sandra S. Walborn Achievement Award is presented to the students who have made significant improvement in their studies this past year. Veronica Yerdola. <laughs> and Falgan Patel. The Keith and Andrea Milstein Award is presented to the students who have tried their hardest to succeed by overcoming obstacles. The first award goes to Brandon Chapman. The second award goes to Braulio Rivera.
The Martin E. Jaross Award is presented to the student has shown, who has shown creativity and excellence in graphic design, Mansur Omari. The Stephen L. Felson Music Award, which is given in memory of Mrs. McQueenie's father, is presented to the student who has demonstrated the most ability, greatest effort, enthusiasm, and dedication to the instrumental music program. This year we have two recipients, Mark Murphy, and Lucas Harvey. The Diana D. Rogatis Reading Award for Reading Achievement is presented to Robert Coppice. The Renetco Supermarkets Award is presented to the students who have demonstrated excellence in social studies. The awards go to Jordan Leonard, Rashi Matha, <laughs> Alyssa Dowd, <laughs> and Drew Barth. The Club Z Perseverance and Positivity Award. This year, two recipients. First goes to Ryan Graham. <laughs> and the second award goes to Peter Mulbach. The following awards are presented by the Mount Olive Parent Teacher Association to the students demonstrating excellence in language arts. We have seven. Ashley Carter. <laughs> Nisha Patel. <laughs> Aliti McCumber. Emma Gilsey, Roy Berkowitz, and Regina Ruiz. To the students who have demonstrated the greatest achievement in math, I use Chakrabarty. Stephanie Tamouche, <laughs> Nicholas Pankowski, <laughs> and Amanda Alvarez. To the students who have demonstrated the greatest achievement in science, Nick Tarullo, <laughs> Sophia Olap, <laughs> Nicholas Pankowski, <laughs> and
and Cassidy Fallis. To the student who has demonstrated excellence in Spanish, Exila Malave. <laughs> to the student who has demonstrated outstanding achievement in French, Mark Murphy. To the students who have achieved the greatest degree of success through their diligence, motivation, and effort during the school year. Tierra Smith. Aaron McGuire. and Mahir Panatrao. To the students who have shown outstanding achievement in physical education based on physical fitness, sportsmanship, and cooperation, Allison Mayer. <laughs> and Seth Hagenson. To the student who has shown the greatest ability, cooperation, and interest in dynamic math, Brandon Sullivan. <laughs> to the student who has shown the greatest achievement in applied technology, Krista Bocher. <laughs> to the student who's been most consistently creative in art, Caitlin Bamper. To the student who has demonstrated the most ability, greatest effort, enthusiasm, and dedication in choral music, Sarah Seelman. <laughs> to the student who has demonstrated the most ability, greatest effort, enthusiasm, and dedication in the school orchestra program, Amber Gentili. <laughs> to the student who has demonstrated the most ability, greatest effort, enthusiasm, and dedication in music education, Caitlin Bailey.
The Community Links Committee Award presented to the students who have demonstrated outstanding achievement in sponsoring school and community relations, Eamon Rathmore. To the student who has demonstrated outstanding achievement in the Gifted and Talented program, Emma Gilsey. <laughs> the Morris County Association of School Administrators Award is presented to the student who by actions and deeds represents a model of citizenship and leadership for their school community, Anthony Rocco. To the student who has demonstrated the greatest amount of service, dependability, reliability in the Mount Olive Middle School Student Council by leadership, service, and overall community concern, Michael Mora. To the student with the third highest scholastic average, Nick Tarullo. <laughs> to the student with the second highest scholastic average, Rashi Matha. To the best, best all-around student who has demonstrated qualities of a well-rounded personality, leadership, character, academic achievement, and is a contributing member of the school and community, otherwise known as the Principal Award, Colin Berg. The Education Association of Mount Olive Award is presented to the student with the highest scholastic average, Michael David Mora. At this time, we're going to begin to present our diplomas. Tonight's names will be read by Mrs. Victoria Cavalieri, our eighth grade counselor, Mrs. Brianna Lishi, our vice president for eighth grade, the eighth grade class, Mr. Shane Surlick, a member of our eighth grade class, and Mrs. Janelle Buxa, our eighth grade math teacher that was chosen by the class of 2017. Erin McGuire. <laughs> Amani S. Avalov. Mia Aducci, Anicha Agademu, Amanda Rose Alvarez, 
Serenity Marie Alvarez, Carly Elizabeth Anderson, Shannon Kelly Angeli, Isabel Marie Arroyo Santiago, Ariana Nicole Arturi, Asha Arun, Caitlin Paige Bailey, Caitlin Bamper, Alicia Michelle Banks, Krista Ashley Betcher, Bianca Bonner, Jocelyn Bradle, Gabriella Rose Brescia, Antonetta Marie Brudico, Gianna Diane Bruzzese. Andrew C. Aaron. Abnab George Abdelmasai. DeAndre Howell South Acosta. Yasin Agidamu. Zachary Charles Algren. Hashem Akhtar. Austin Maximus Alexander. Adam Al Hayek, Anthony Joseph Alonzo, J. M. Amin, Marvin Andrade, James Jacob Andrews, Deshaun Arrington, Drew Barth, Casey John Batch, Dominic Thomas Bouts, Colin Joseph Berg, Roy Berkowitz, Jason Benante. Megan Elizabeth Buck, Aaron E. Burnett, Rachel Cabrera, Christiana Kala, Maya Leanne Campbell, Michaela Marissa Campbell, Olivia Rose Caputo, Ashley A. Carter, Megan Murray Casey, Tara Chaco, Zoe Murray Cluxton, Kelly Ann Collins, Gina Murray Consiglio, Kayla Rose Contorno, Bethany Hope Costley, Natalie Justine Cray, Raquel Juliana D'Amico, Caitlin Rose Dean, Lisa M. DeCristofaro, Luke Anthony Bonfanti, Robert Brownman, Jose A. Cabrera, Corey Anthony Campbell, Jordan David Campbell, Brandon Jade M. Cardenas, David Lewis Carey, Justin Carlanian, Cooper Carlson, Ayush Chakraborty, Mihir Chandra, Brandon Edward Chapman, Surya Chinapa, Tyler Schmiel, Matthew Croy Separetto, Jonathan Michael Seifer, Cameron Daniel Clark, Brandon A. Cohan, Luis Jose Contreras. Desmarie Tatiana Deslande, Riley Jane DeToro, Ariana Cameron Diaz, Emily Catalina Diaz, Lucia Nicole DeJoseph, Alyssa Nicole Dowd, Liana Grace Dezima, Shannon Elizabeth Egan, Alexandra Rose Eidelberg, Brianna Haley Evans, Cassandra Marie Fallis, Amina Faroki, Haley Farrell, Jillian Catherine Farrell, Emily Elizabeth Feldman, 
Geneve Fernandez, Maria Camilla Ferrero, Alexandria Michelle Fregano, Lori Beth Fertina, John T. Conway, Ian David Coyle, Kevin Jan Coyle, Evan Krantz, Patrick Vincent Curdo, Connor Robert Davis, Daniel William Davis, Leo T. Dem, Damian Michael DeSoma, Daniel John DiBernardino, Nicholas DeGisi, Jack DiMaggio, Richard Doan, Patrick Dolan, Nicholas Dulio, Thomas Richard Delude, Dante Duto, Frank Dutton, Yusuf Elsmahai. Jacqueline Lauren Fredericks, Jenna Nicole Galdi, Anneli Alia Garcia, Amber Lynn Gentili, Ava Michelle Guestwick, Emma Galise, Sandra E. Gonzalez, Olivia Gorska, Marissa Danielle Grapaldi, Christy Lynn Groneman, Kayla Guerrera, Gianna Carol Gully, Emma Hallie Lovick, Caitlin Amanda Hall, Takia Crystal Lynn Harper, Shukriya Hashimi, Paige JoLynn Hawk, Avery C. Hazlitt, Gabrielle Sophie Herman, Joseph Michael Faustino, Anthony Joseph Ferrara, Nicholas Flammer, Daniel James Falenta, Kenneth Ferlenza, Justin Isaiah Gales. Justin is receiving his diploma this evening by his father, Dr. Antoine Gales, Vice President of the Mount Olive Board of Education. Marcus Mikel Gilliard, Brandon Gonzalez, Ryan Alexander Graham, Matthew J. Green, Arthur Grubiak, John Paul Guerrero, Alexander Michael Gunia, Romeo Habash, Agrin Hedzovic, Seth Michael Hagenson, Logan Christopher Hallahan, Blaine Scott Hammond, Samantha Grace Hostler, Kira Ming Hutchinson Lundy, Leah May Hutchinson Lundy, Allison Marie James, Addison Lynn Jennings, Jess Ray Jimenez, Hannah Eden Jones, Morgan Ariel Joseph, Isabella Maria Kane, Shreya Katola, Olivia Grace King, Patricia Copenal, Maya Copacetti, Isabella Angie Krajewski, Alexis M. Lamantia, Sarah Kate Lamantia, Caroline T. Larangera, <laughs> Kayla Letter, <laughs> Lucas Joshua Harvey, <laughs> Ahmed G. Hassanian, <laughs> Brian Lewis Hayes, Evan Heckman, Jared Tristan Heineman, 
Justin Henring, Justin. Joseph Galermo Hernandez, Zing Chi Wang, Gordon Lawrence Huntley, Alish Wase Hussan, Matthew A. Jacopino, Vinay Jagadesh, Keith Edward Jenkins, Justin John, Christopher Vincent Jones, Brent Joseph, Braden Scott Kirstead, Robert Michael Kirshner, Austin Colossa. Brianna Grace Lishy, Kylie Ann Logan, Brianna Lopez, Jenna Rose Lynch, Emily Kristen Mann, Emily Mai, Amelia Meyer, Exila Malave, Moesha Malik, Emily Manning, Charlotte Rose Marsak, Rashi Maffa, Allison Ann Mayer, Catherine Eileen McCumber, Molly Ann McDade, Kaylin Emily McGill, Kylie Jordan Mel, Carolyn Daphne Mickus. Robert Francis Copas, no, Vade Kalfa, Dylan David Kramer, Brandon S. Kubak, Scott Kubicki, Ryan Colfan, John Labagany, Justin Anthony Labruna, Gregory Paul Lake, Johnny Laringera, Daniel Lauterbach, John Christopher Lehman, Joseph Theodore Lemangelo, Jordan Matthew Leonard, David Brian Lidwin, Matthew Alexander Lima, Jesse Ellis Lipner, Jackson Howe Liu, Gavin William Lockwood. Amanda Michelle Miller, Sierra Mursky, Kendra Eve Mobley, Melanie Angelica Molina, Madison Elizabeth Morris, Emma S. Murphy, Maureen M. Mukasa, Danielle Nemec, Isabel Nicoletti, Zuleika Gadida Ubandu, Samantha Renee Obitz Link, Turin N. Obua, Violet Catherine Olivetti, Sky Rose Olson, Sophia Rose Olip, Nyla Angoro, Sylvia Onishuk, Sasha A. Orozico, Bobby Patel. Jeremy Thomas Lopes, Eric Michael Loria, Michael Ryan Lutot, Gyro Vincent Magbonwa, Jason Tyler Malave, Michael Malinik, Ryan Mallet, Daniel Robert Manfredo, David Marciano, 
Julian Torquino Matute Polo. Peter Benedict Malbach. Tyler John McDonald. Ryan Michael McGrath. Aaron McKay. Charles McVicker. Caleb Jonathan Medallis. Matthew Magara. Aditya Pradeep Menon. Nishi Patel. Adelaide Lee Pavkov. Carlin G. Perez. Haley Jenna Perkins. Jordan Lee Pettinger. Alexa Ryan Pettis. Jessica Philman. Jesse Philman. Samantha Adriana Popo. Olivia Joy Post. Caitlin Rose Polizado. Nathan Yell, Alexa Quambo. Rachel Claire Rambo. Juliana Francesca Ramos. Topeka Rena. Gabriella Randazzo. Eamon Rator. Julia Elizabeth Redmond. Michaela Rose Regan. Jaden Lynn Miller. Joel Eduardo Miller. Michael Miranda. Sumit Hershad Mystery. Isaac Molina. Michael David Mora. Derek Ryan Muccioni. Mark Michael Murphy. Jason Christopher Musel. Connor Nelson. Justin Tan Nguyen. Jaden Thomas O'Boyle. Terrence Obua. Masur O'Mary. Dylan Thomas Anaroli. Adam Christopher O'Sullivan. Colin Joseph Pedwalka. Mahir Pandorto. Sophia Rodriguez. Camilla Chantal Rodriguez. Isabella Rojas. Regina Nicole Riz. Genevieve Mary Serenelli. Aaliyah Rose Scott. Hannah Elizabeth Scott. Sarah Cassidy Seelman. Brianna Marie Signello. Victoria Rose Swingini. Nora Shah. Aurelia Shalomo Shug. Amy Jocelyn Shea. Taylor Jordan Simon. Tegan Smith. Tara Amnene Smith. Emma Christine Smite. Lily Elizabeth Steinger. Bailey Nicole Straza. Nicholas Peter Pentowski. Eric Scott Pariso. Yeah. Matthew Alexander Paspelis. Yeah. Falgun Patel. Jawan E. Patino. Yeah. Joseph Pateri. Shane Patrick. Yeah. Gavin Ingo Peterson. David James Pence. Yeah. Owen Daniel Penzak. Daniel Ryan Pera. Tristan David Pereira. Justin Petrovic. 
James Marshall Piper. Marshall James Piper. Henry Ramiz. Jack Francis Ramsey. Joshua Gavri Rangala. William Thomas Riley. Morgan Daniel Stemfels. Aaron Summer. Olivia Schwerch. Eliana Sylvester. Stephanie Tamouche. Alamade A. Taiwa. Kayla Angela Tennyson. Mega Theoragon. Ashley Mary Tyrone. Colleen Elizabeth Tunzos. Krista Toscano. Lily D. Tran. Morgan Alexis Trotter. Stephanie Eukadike. Akanksha Raju Esturge. Cheyenne Ashley Velasquez. Vasquez. Alexa Vigara Cuba. Amanda Velasquez. Jasmine Alice Villagra. Christian Dean Rios. Braulio Rivera. Frank Anthony Rocco. Alex Rodriguez. Xavier Alexander Rodriguez. Patrick Brogan. Oscar Alonzo Rojas. John Joseph Ronca. Ryan Rosenberg. Drew Anthony Roselli. Carlos Samuel Ruiz. Scott Rulon. Anthony Joseph Ruppel. Timothy Ryder. Axel Saavedra. Alejandro Samarquio. Cristiano Dos Santos. Justin Brennan Schmidt. Lily Walsh. Katie Rose Wank. Saray D. Waring. Shay Weber. Caitlin Jade Weiner. Ainsley Mae Williams. Kathleen Bridget Wooster. Veronica Yadarlo. Samantha Zhang. Kyle Adam Schubert. Carter Alexander Setlock. Sean Shakar. Madur Sulka. Joan Siciliano. Matthew J. Smith. Malik Spencer. Noah John Stanton. Ryan James Struble. Brandon Sullivan. William James Sullivan. Shane Owen Sorolic. Nicholas Joseph Torallo. Davud Tas Castro. Robert Tester. Julius Ryan Tongle. Jesse M. Trevina. Lucas John Trombley. Harrison C. Van Vliet. Justin Andrew Vatana Pradit. Kai Vialva. Andrew D. Wallen. Jordan Watkins. Jordane Waterburn. Kanan Thomas Wiseman. Joseph Thomas Yawn. Hunter Matthew Zenowitz. Presenting the Mount Olive Middle School Class of 2017.
you have just wonderful children. There are 400 students sitting behind me, and we will miss them terribly. But I know that at the high school, they will go on to tremendous things. And I hope that each and every one of you enjoys your evening with your children tonight, and also that you have a wonderful summer. So thank you again for coming. Have a wonderful evening. And our students are going to be presiding out. Good night. <laughs>